that's a, probably what's going through Melon's head right now as well, as far as, oh, that's their game plan, so what do we want to do with this final pick? Necrophos. Kind of answer that. Necro! Oh, oh. Rising? No, I, I don't think all. When you spin on an invoker, little he can do it. That you kind of push him off the way, but and if he does get away from you... I caught that down there on camera, at least. He got the kill on the Rubik right there. He seemed like Complexity was the one trying to make a move, and actually, the shark's going to block him, and the Split Earth hits, and... Necro might actually fall. He will. He couldn't get the heal off in time. Melons. All he could do is throw out that curse. Now Z-Freak running back in. Almost getting the turn kill on Eagle. Not going to be enough, though. So that ended up kind of snowballing right there, for lack of a better word. Uh, it is a difficult task. But yeah, as long as you're on top of it, then that can be very, very useful for yourself and your team. Bottom lane again. Necro's in trouble. Snowball in. Wow. Just couldn't even get a single heal off. I mean, he only turned about 70% life, and Melons is also in trouble. It's just going to be dope. He can't do a damn thing again. No CC coming out from him. Well, maybe actually, as it gets a little bit of the creep blocked. Up. Can use the kind of run around. Dagger tries. That they are. Curse comes out. Mel's running right into a trap, though. Center in your five, but not close enough. This is a damn silence there for sure. A culling blade to really do him in. That snowball not even necessary. Center task. So only six minutes into the game. Time stampede. Weakness. Okay, they're gonna chase down Eagle at the bottom lane, the hook's up on top, and there's that double edge. I mean, he just melts, no chance, really. Yeah, that was exactly... ...placed early in Freedom. In fact, they're gonna rotate around. They know he's hiding in these trees. Oh, no. Ansel is gonna pop out. Went for an Omni Slash, but actually gets done first. They don't have enough initial damage, but the shards are gonna block him in. And he gets been through there, so very good ward. Yeah, you see... Got him in for... Got... Ready to open and hit the cyclone. Here comes the hoof stop. There's the toss back, the double edge. There we go. And ball spin for it's in, but he's just a little bit too late. And Rubik's like, yeah, I'll take that. So the two supports as well as the center now. He's wanting to push in this tower. He sees Z Freak. He's trying to get close enough. He has that stun follow up as well. Gonna be able to use it right here, but they realize that the support is coming in. Stampede activated. Double Akita in the flank. Z Freak still running away with that stampede. They do stun Centaur instead, but again, he is damn beefy. It's not beefy now, so he will go down. Tusk finishes off Rubik off to the side. And they also got Silencer prior to that, who was running completely. So beautiful fight for freedom again, though. Three for nothing. Now they're gonna counter push. They made that work, man. Yeah, really well played. Everyone there for target push. They probably have only gotten the Rubik. Well, onto him. But instead, opting for the star, they were able to. Rubik didn't have any. Well, that was so my. Dead. At the cooling blade. No, oh, he missed the dark. Oh, he actually. Yeah. Healing. That was a good job by Tusk. I mean, we're seeing the potential of Tusk, too. He's, these ice shards are actually uh, pretty annoying to deal with with a hero like. Uh, Juggernaut is middle lane invoker. Oh, the MP coming off right there in response, actually, from Rubik. He's good at still these invoker abilities, but Sonic's are going a little too deep trying to finish him off. He'll get turned, and the curse not going to be enough damage. Major item. Oh, I I'm expecting to go very, very. There we go. There's the call. A lot of Juggernaut is there now. Follow up. He has that cooling blade coming up just now, but the global silence skews and toss. He's gonna feel the pain. He feels the size of the Necro right there. They also pick off back top of the side. PSJ trying to chase down Ansel, but realizing that was a poor decision. He's going too deep. Warcry is not gonna be enough, and he also falls. And now it's Complexity's turn to win some fights. Damn it! This beautiful shard block. Guess who from Rubik? And they finish right, off Legend yeah, as well. At the very least, they should. Caught and buttons coming. Walrus Punch is ready. You see the ice uh, shards once again to block in Necro. He cannot get a heal off. There we go with the Walrus Punch. And down goes Moose. So, you let try credit for the kill right there. But I gotta say, uh, Moo has not necessarily been most uh, useful, it feels like, for the team this game. Uh, despite complexity winning that last fight. Monkeys, meanwhile, he's trying to run away this whole time. He has a Blink Dagger. A lot of work. 60% damage reduction, that is pretty insane. Z-Freak, he still has those ice shards, remember. He's gonna be blocked in. He's gonna toss away the last shark, and he's gonna block out Toss. Z-Freak can come with the neutrals. Yes, he can get by the neutrals. It just doesn't stop. Meanwhile, the turn on to last shark, the scythe to finish him off and putting on that timer. Um, anyways, he gets the snowball himself, so ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a big play from Z-Freak once again. In comes the hook stop on his fan, by the way, in the middle lane, double edge used. Gonna try to TP out in time. No! Wow. Had to be... TP took so long. Felt like it. 
Wow. I, I, I want to say but he did, but man, that was like half a second away if that. Eagle gets picked off, meanwhile, by Z Freak. Did he use the snowball? Like, it's not happening. They're going to try to finish it off, but Complexity knows this. They did not want to give this up, I'm sure. That's it. No. Ow. They it was just, just so it low, I think, but it could actually real. It's at the top of the lane, continuing to be pushed in by Complexity, though. It's a TP from the Sven, it looks like. And he's going to go for the jump on a cancel. Oh, but he pops the main style. He does still get the stun off, however. Now Axe is going to come in with the big calling blade. Uh, excuse me, a bit Berserker's call on top of that, but the global silence used in terms of counter initiation and the Omni Slash will tear right through Spin and take him off. Centaur in the background, the Stampede already activated. He gets the combo on a Tusk and Tusk will fall. EMP in the midst of everyone, but I don't think that's really going to hit anyone, unfortunately. Rubik, what does he have? He has a Storm Hammer. Go back. You always go Pipe Hood, and so you have enough already, and you're never going to go Butterfly in most normal. So, a way to get some evasion with that awkward item. That's a big kill, as you would expect. Meanwhile, the turn, though, coming out. The snowball in for the flank, and Rubik actually going to be thrown in the air. Deep freaking out the four step away, trying to live throughout all this. Necro, meanwhile, he's on the run, too. In comes the spin from Cancel. They will pick off Necro. Remember, they do not have Invoker, though, so missing out some good damage from him. Tug picked up. A double kill for Melons, actually, and Leshrac goes down as well. Axe is able to TP away. The only survivor around the corner for him, so yeah, they're, they're going to keep going. Center blanks in, doesn't catch anyone. As meanwhile, Leshrac and PSJ, they're going to push the tower in. First, so complexity they get the tower kill wow. themselves it's actually pretty even but they're gonna be exchanging racks right here apparently and you gotta wonder if this is actually favoring complexity or not no this was extremely heads up from their guys there i thought they were porting back but staying does get them a melee rack so they're gonna trade in a situation where they didn't really want to so very very heads up play for yeah, and they did a good job of evading, and as you said, you know, the worst the worst case would have been that your guys at base dying while you're gonna kind of push like that. Well, as I say that, that much could be happening. While we're sponging X, we get caught as well, and Flame Mill ain't gonna save him, and meanwhile the scythe to take out Tusk. So he's dead for a good 60 seconds and I'm to have to wait all that time. And realizes that they're still pushing, so and that was kind of that worst case scenario. But Sven and Lushrak, they're actually going middle lane now, so this is a very curious here. Who will be favored in this time around? How fast will they be able to get that tower? This is a bizarre, bizarre way to put it. <laughs> Both teams just... Uh, it's a game to see how... Yeah. We just send two... Game of chicken. Oh, the Ooh. Sunstrike connects on a Juggernaut. Well played right there by Tomato. And secures that kill. Now Monkey's he is in trouble. Stampy not up for another 12 seconds. That will get up in time. And the damage is a little bit too much. Tomato experience as well and stops they're porting in as uh rubik does but don't know if they're gonna get here in time it's gonna be another case they're gonna be just a little bit too late they are gonna catch axe off to the side go for a quick kill on ix mike but down goes the aegis bsj picks it up and now i expect to go for the tp away meanwhile over here another bit of a fight taking place as Moo and not catch anyone though and actually team freedom manages to get away with everyone wow we're gonna go shiva no, uh Add some extra armor, and then I wouldn't be surprised to see Octarine come out, reducing Z-Freak. <laughs> He's going to force Dap away. He's trying to get away from the Zax right here. Battle Hunger, though, making it somewhat difficult, but apparently he is going to be sneaky enough. Nope, there's more here now. He's going to throw out a ton and he blinks away initially. Snowball coming out, though, finally connects. And they're going to kill this, the god Z-Freak, the Stampede, un unable to help him get away. Despite the pin in, and so they wanted to wait a little bit longer, but Tomato just simply too quick. And now Z Freak's actually pretty committed up here. Cancel near by, but Z Freak, he gets down right there with the Berserker Skull split it on top. And the Sunstrike gonna miss actually as he gets away. Electric in the background is picked off. Now X Black gonna port out, ain't gonna happen though. Reaper Scythe takes him out a hundred seconds on that resurrection. Now he does have a buyback. It's gonna be what team decides. Necro's not here right now, and I think that's why Freedom may be going out. But Monkey's a big three minute stun. Tusk the one taking the damage. He does survive in the meantime. Pops the snowball. That Sunstrike comes out as well. Necro, though, thrown up in the air. They do finish off Tusk. No buyback on him. Another throw off for Necro with the yields, and the global silence comes out. Pretty late in the fight, but eventually does. Less track being thrown back in the Diabolic Edict. The ultimate of the Pulse Nova, not going to matter. He goes down two for nothing. Double kill for monkeys, and now they are gonna finish off Roshan here for certain. So Jump back from G a little gem picked up in that uh, free Rosh. They probably a little bit. I got here. We have 30. Get a wave there in about. There's more than. Make his way up there and look to do that. But yeah, the rest of them. Well, not really the rest of them. The three of them here.
Now you do have Rubik. Sure enough, Zero Freak can't the bottom lane. His battle hunger is his ability. Pretty worthless ability, really. Don't stop it. But... But... Oh, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's something. Mike didn't reap. Wow. That, Pretty yeah. Bad. 120 seconds. Yeah, he is not coming back. That could be game as mentioned. At the bottom lane, did Zeefreak just stop a TP? Uh, it looks and like it. I think he might have. Yeah, that was his plan. And he sure enough does stop the TP. So now they're without Sven as well at the base. And they have to defend with just Leshrac and Tusk. And Volker, of course, nearby as well. But the three of them against the that are here. That is such a difficult task to jump in. It's going to be one last. This so goes Eagle. He will fly back immediately despite getting Reaper Scythe right there. But Centaur, 4,200 live, just tanking up all the damage that they're attempting to do. Which isn't much from the looks of it. Eagle on the back line trying to catch Silencer. That ain't gonna work though. Yule Scepter in the air. Simply delay the inevitable. The crit comes out. Juggernaut finishes the job. Monkeys will barely survive again. Heal's coming out as the snowball in from Juby. They might actually kill Center. Finally do as the Chrysalis crit. Um, Sven comes out, but now cancel. Just going back in. He doesn't have an Aegis to. Okay, that's it. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on. Okay. Going in again. It is. Oh, the sight's in the background. That, that should all but do it. Yeah, GG well play. Complexity will take game two. And they'll finish 2-0. And, I, and I, you know, I was kind of looking at the standings here. They pretty much needed a 2-0 to have a hope here of moving on. Yeah, they because did. They, they, they fell behind a little bit against, uh, obviously, the favorites in DC. But with the 2-0, there still is at least hope mathematically. So that's good for them. On the other side for Team Freedom, uh, this pretty much...